A mild winter has turned into an unrelenting freeze, bringing more than ice and snow to most of Europe. Hundreds have died from exposure as temperatures in the east have dropped below minus 35 degrees Celsius in some parts. Poland, minus 36 degrees. Outlook, snow, continuing through the weekend. The death toll in Poland has climbed to around 40 since temperatures plummeted a week ago. The victims, mostly the homeless or those sheltering in unheated buildings. Many schools are closed. Those who can are staying indoors. It should be getting warmer, but God only knows when. They didn't even predict winter, and you see what came? There wasn't supposed to be any snow, nothing. Serbia, minus 30 degrees in parts, outlook, icy. Far from the snow-driven streets of Belgrade, some 11,000 people are trapped by severe weather in the remote mountains of Serbia. In the cities, the harshest winter in decades has caused power cuts and traffic chaos, forcing the closure of businesses and airports. Ukraine, minus 25 to 30 degrees. Outlook, cold. More than 100 have died in Ukraine, with hundreds more being treated for frostbite and hypothermia. Nearly 3,000 shelters have been set up, bringing food and warmth to the homeless. Dangerously low temperatures brought Russian traffic and emergency services to a halt, while parts of the river Danube have frozen over in Romania and Bulgaria. The big freeze isn't confined to the east. In Brussels, the famous mannequin piss has frozen mid-flow. Snow has fallen on the Colosseum in Rome and the Eiffel Tower in Paris, though a bright winter sun shone on Friday. This sign in French reads, don't step on the ice. Across much of Europe, there's no avoiding it. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.